morning, home biscuits. It is Tuesday, June 6th. Oh my gosh, this are so dirty. I don't know if you guys can tell. They're <laughs> That's bad. Um, I'm going to take Mr. CJ. I'm not even going to get bothered getting dressed uh, to school because I'm not going to go to work today because it's my graduation. Uh, I, who knew? Honestly, I'm a little bit exhausted and tired and probably not as happy as I thought I was going to be, but that's only because last night I went to go get my money order for my rent and it was really busy and it was so crowded in the parking lot. I just wanted to leave. Mr. CJ was giving me a little bit of an attitude um, because I had been uh, I picked him up and pretty much I had errands to do and I dashed for like one hour after I picked him up and after I picked him up I went and took care of you know like getting the money order and all of that takes a little bit of time so by the time we're gonna get home it was gonna be about 8 30 and I told him but right before we were gonna leave I told him all right well it's already 8 30 so when you get home take a shower and you're gonna go to bed and he just flipped out and was like I've wasted my whole day and you know, the whole annoying preteen, not even a preteen yet, <sighs> situation. Um, and I was just like, seriously, I'm not in the mood to deal with your nonsense right now. Just do as I say. It's late. I had to take care of this. Too bad. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he was giving me attitude. When I, he, when I walked out, I don't typically hold his hand anymore. I know he's going to be 10. But I do in certain situations. Like I said, the parking lot was ridiculously crowded. So I ended up holding his hand just to get to my car. And he like snatched his hand away from me and was like giving me attitude, whatever, being upset that he wasted his whole day. And so I was like, whatever. So we got to his side of the door first. I watched him get close to the door. So by the time I walked around to my car in the front, I assumed he was in the car. I was tired. Apparently he wasn't. I freaked out as I took off and quickly like, I would say two streets lights down, I turned around to say something because it's like a habit and he wasn't in the car. And I was like, what just happened? So I drove allegedly, <laughs> no kidding. I did, I drove like 65 miles an hour. I U-turned so fast. I cut so many people off and drove back. And as I was pulling up, I get a phone call from someone that I guess had seen the whole thing. And he they let him use the phone. He knows my phone number, which is something that I'm like, I hope that never happened. But I'm always like constantly asking, what's my phone number? What's my name? Where do we live? Like, I make sure he knows those things. Um, but I just panicked. Like, I was fine until I saw him. And then I just broke down and was like... Why would you not listen to me? Why would you not do that? And he was already scared and I told him I should have checked. It wasn't your fault. Let's just not do this again, okay? Don't be upset with me. It's not worth going through this, you know, because I was annoyed that he was annoyed at me. And so when he, when I thought he got in the car, my head was just on exit the parking lot as soon as possible because this is crazy like it was crazy and then there were some ladies screaming and they were gonna get into a fight and I just wanted no part in it and so I think all of those things combined were just crazy so I had a pretty rough night because I spent a lot of it crying after I picked him up but we had a conversation and I just told him you know it's not your fault apparently he was upset but he said that he didn't want to open the door all the way because there was a, literally there was a car blocking me but i was able to get out but i didn't realize that when he opened the door i may have hit the car so he was trying to not hit the car by opening his door which i didn't even pay attention because like i said we got to his door first and i saw him get to his door and i still had to walk around the car so i just assumed that in that time he would have gotten in the car and like it was just chaotic so it was crazy so I'm exhausted like emotionally exhausted but I'm trying to save all of that because I know this is gonna probably be an emotional vlog at one point like I'm already getting teary-eyed because it's been a long time coming like 
it hasn't been easy for me well hello this is what my face is looking interim i need to go get a lipstick that i have my eyes on i need to go get it um because i want to be comfortable and the one that i have is a little sticky so it's only like three dollars it's right next to the dollar king and i completely forgot to go the other day but i need to stop by the dollar king because i need to buy some white flowers hopefully i can find some if not oh well i need to add to my graduation cap but this is what it looks like i have to run off to go get mr cj so that he can come back home have enough time to get dressed and so when he comes back i'm gonna pull um curl the tips of my hair because i have way too much hair to do like the whole curly from the top like i usually do so i'm just gonna do the curls because i'm gonna wear a cap anyways um i put my lashes on and then just put my lipstick and put on my dress and hopefully you guys get to see my outfit and like it and yeah i'm so excited let the day begin even though it's 2 p.m On the left side and I will ask you now to move them accordingly please move it to the left side Congratulations. Mr. CJ, he is sleeping, he is knocked out. Oh look guys, my cap for my graduation, I don't think I actually shorted. it. I'm very proud of where I come from, very proud daughter of immigrant parents, and I felt like their sacrifice is the only reason why I am where I am. So this one's for them. And I actually really like my decoration skills. <laughs> They're on point. <laughs> Come on, Mr. CJ. Hey, so I'm back home. It's really late. We went out to dinner, um, and I forgot the camera in the car. Uh, rookie mistake. 
Um, and I know I said this last time, like, well, I was just trying to enjoy it, but I really was. I was living in the moment, and, but my sister this time, who doesn't, like, being on camera, said, how come you didn't bring your camera? Like, we're all having a good time, and I'm like, I forgot. Like, it's chaotic, you know what I mean? Like, I usually like being the center of attention. No, I'm kidding. I don't mind being the center of attention if I have to be, or, like, do speeches or things like that when, when needed, or do a presentation or stuff like that. But when you're graduating, like, everyone's just like, here, congrats, take a picture here. And it's just so chaotic. And when we got to the restaurant, there were so many people there. And it's, like, one of those restaurants where it's always packed. So, and by packed, I mean busy, if you didn't understand what that meant. Uh, but it's always super, 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 super busy. And I just got there and was like, okay, let's just get off and go inside. Because they had already um, set them down. So... Yeah, it was really crazy, but I just, I forgot, and I was going to walk out and get it, but I was tired, so I didn't go in and get it, so I just, I just enjoyed the night, um, but I'm back home now, and, you know, I wish I had some wisdom, with words of wisdom, but I guess all I could say is just remember, and I said this earlier, that, uh, or maybe I didn't, but it's never ever too late, and I get inspired by others just as much, and I, that's where I get my strength and courage, aside from my family, my support system, my friends, my really close friends, and um, yeah, like I'm excited for the next step. I don't know what the future's going to bring, but I know that I'm going to go in as hard as I could, and I'm not going to be perfect at it, but I'm just going to keep going because that's all I can do is just keep going. So, I will see you on my next video. Bye! What up, mommy? <laughs> That's all you have to say to her on her graduation day? Hi, hey! Go! I'm so proud of you. Um, I know I face adversities, but you being a mother, like that's so much more inspirational. So yeah, congratulations, and I love you. I love you. I'm so proud of you. Felicidades. Te deseo lo mejor en la vida. Y un gran logro que has hecho. Felicito mucho. Te quiero mucho.